The Arizona Cardinals are ahead of schedule in the rebuild. Jonathan Gannon has this team playing inspired football. Joshua Dobbs has been money. The coaching is on point, and the rookie class looks borderline dominant at times. Hell, they may even eclipse their Vegas win projection of four and a half by Thanksgiving. Yet even with all the optimism, there is still a big weakness for the Redbirds that can't be ignored. One so significant, it has a chance to at least temporarily pause all the quality vibes emulating from Valley football this season. So what is it? I'm Johnny Venerable, and this is PHNX Cardinals Johnny on the Spot. When former Arizona Cardinal GM Steve Keim allowed franchise player Calais Campbell to jet set in free agency and sign with the Jaguars circa 2017, little did Keim know the trickle-down effect it would have on the state of this roster. From Robert Kimdichie, Darius Fillon, Jordan Phillips, finding an heir apparent to Campbell at defensive tackle became a near impossible feat for Keim to overcome. And despite throwing money at J.J. Watt and drafting Zach Allen, even those moves had subsequent expiration dates in the desert. Watt has since retired, and Allen is currently underperforming in Denver despite a lofty free agent deal last March. So, like most everything, Kime's mess now becomes GM Monty Osenford and Jonathan Gannon's to clean up. To say this current group of Cardinal defensive tackles is underwhelming really is like comparing Colt McCoy's training camp to Josh Allen's. It's pretty bad. The Cardinals' defense has not been bad. They've overachieved this year, and you can't argue that. But given the state of their defensive tackle play, this defense feels like a house of cards on the brink of tumbling, given the fact that even their most modest Band-Aid signings have landed on injured reserve. So how do they fix this? Well, there's two routes, and they're pretty obvious. In my opinion, you call up Carolina, who's prioritizing offense under Frank Wright with Bryce Young, and you check on the availability of 25-year-old defensive tackle Derek Brown. Brown, who actually went one pick ahead of Isaiah Simmons back in 2020, has yet to sign a long-term deal in Charlotte, despite having his fifth-year option picked up last spring. Now, trading for Brown would be pricey, but they're 0-4, and this is the kind of move the Cardinals can entertain given their robust draft capital. And speaking of next April's draft, while there's not a Jalen carter s prospect topping out big boards at the moment, it almost feels like a mandate of Austin Ford to use multiple selections on defensive linemen. And if you're worried about overdrafting with AZ's premium first-round picks, hello Marvin Harrison, standouts like Chris Jones and Grady Jarrett were found outside of the first round. So it can be done. But the bottom line is this. No matter how ahead of schedule this Cardinal team is, and they are ahead of schedule, until they're able to tackle their white whale at defensive tackle, they'll be hampered in a division that puts so much pressure on the opposing line of scrimmage.